Okay, welcome back to episode two of Learning Magic the Gathering. I am absolutely addicted. So, uh, I haven't really played much. It's been kind of a busy day today, but I played a little last night, and we're going to get gaming today. So, thank you for tuning in if you enjoy, whether you just have this in the background while you do something else just to watch, or you're actively engaged in watching me learn. Uh, I think it's fun to to learn this and, and share it, and maybe I'll get some tips from some people. I've had a couple people that are very uh, generous to reach out, so that's been great. Um, love that. Love to see that. People are very nice in the magic community, it seems. Not that I'm a big person or anything, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm excited to get into another day of learning. So without further ado, I'm going to get the stream going and I don't know how many games we'll play today, but we'll be learning. So let's do that. And we are good to go. So I did change. Uh, previously, I was using... Uh, oh, okay, so this is what I changed it to. But previously, I was using this virulent, virulent, if somebody maybe correct me, deck, which I absolutely love, uh, and I will continue to use, definitely. This is my favorite deck so far. But uh, given I'm trying to learn, I figured I would kind of change it up and diversify after using that for so long. So I've been using this jump in deck for playing the jump in game mode and I've been really enjoying it. So I just spit. I don't know if you guys saw that. That was gross. Um, but let's get into this. Let's get into a game and let's see. Hopefully I get some better luck today. Uh, yesterday was really slow games. Um, I've been playing in bed a little bit too because you can do MTG Arena on your phone and I'm an absolute addict and um, they were a little bit faster so I don't know if it's just my luck when I start recording but like I said thank you to anybody who's tuning in watching this is really fun so I'm gonna keep it up and hopefully people enjoy it um, I have finals for school coming up next week or one final so I think I'm gonna keep this right exiles a card from her hand that's a pretty good early game uh, so I might be a little sporadic there but I am addicted confidently can say I am absolutely addicted to this game so uh, whenever you commit a crime, you may pay one. If you do, return it from the graveyard to the battlefield. I guess we'll put that out first. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna try and not do this thing with my hand where I, like, sit here and do this. But... We'll see how that goes. It's, um... I think it's a little bit loud. What am I waiting for? Oh, I don't know. So I'm actually gonna turn it down. Actually, it looks like my voice is a little loud, too. So, while we're here, I'm just going to turn this down a little bit. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to leave it. It's fine. Um, we are going to go here. We're going to make them exile a card in our hand. This is tap for uh, mana, so I think we want to get rid of this thing. Pretty quickly, I think. I think, um, I think relative to my speaking voice, it should be fine. The volume. We are definitely gonna attack, because I want to kill this thing. I do not like that this can tap for extra mana. At all. 
<laughs> what is this? Menace gets 3 0 as long as an opponent has 8 or more cards in their graveyard. Okay. We're not there yet, but. Uh, ha -ha. If a creature died this turn, I think we are going to swamp. And flying. When it's turn faced up, look at the top two cards of your library. Put one into your hand and the other into your graveyard. I don't know if I really care about that. I think really what I want is oh I can block this. And it would kill me. So actually, we are not going to do that. I want this thing dead. This is not good. Like, how are you up to five mana? And I have three. That's a big yikes scoop. Oh, I tried to um, put my little amiibos over here in case anybody wanted a little bit of a different background. And I turn the fireplace on. It's not producing heat, but I did turn it on. Hopefully it looks a little cozy. I don't know. That was my thought anyway. What is taking so long? I like this deck that they've got going on here, I think. Fuck. And create a treasure token. Okay. Wow, he is almost out out of cards and it's been like two minutes three minutes and when it etbs if a creature died this turn create a two put a one one counter on it create a two blue and black rogue creature token so i can cast that if i can cast either of these if one of them dies so let's debate and I think that's more valuable right now than this. So let's debate them. Graveyards whatever. Let's get a debate going. Please. Please block something. Please block something. Damn it. Uh, okay. That sucks. Uh, what do I gotta get you to do to kill one of my creatures? Transforms to a zero zero. Three. Okay. How? I don't. I don't really get what just happened. How did it get to three? I saw it incubated for three. Oh. The amount of... Create an incubator token with three 1-1 one, one counters on it. And pay two to transform this artifact into a 0-0. Zero, zero. So how did it go from 0-0 zero, zero to 3? Oh, because then you paid it. Okay. I feel like I maybe understand. Um... I'm really going to need this guy to kill something. You control an enchanted creature. Has base power, toughness, and 1-1. One, one. I feel like I could take this for mana. He's got nothing in his graveyard. Neither do I, really. So...
Can I tap? And I'm gonna swing. And please, oh, I don't have enough mana to pay. Never mind. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. No attacks. I wonder if I can tap this and use its effect. Because I'm controlling it through an en enchantment. What a what ow. What a wild human druid assassin. I can. Really. I can exile. Does exile bring back? I'm dumb. I don't know what that means. Never mind. I don't want to do that. Uh, I'm going to tap for mana. And then I'm gonna swing all this. Is there any of these I don't wanna die? Yeah, that's fine. Please block something. I really need you to block something so I can play these. Like, I would really appreciate if you would just I'm fully tapped though, that's not good. Oh, thank god. Each player mills a card. I don't know what mill means. I guess we're gonna find out. Okay, oh, you just grab from your... Instead of drawing, you draw it and put it right to the... Nice, okay, so now... They died. There we go. So it's blue and black. I thought this create. I'm pointing like you can see what I'm pointing at. I thought this create a 2 2 black, blue and black zombie meant one zombie that was blue and 2 2 and one that was black 2 2. I didn't realize it was half and half, but I guess that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> I think next, what we're gonna do is... We are going to... Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna kill this. We're gonna kill this. Declared. They they all have menace? What the fuck? Uh really? Is that temporary? Why do they all have menace? Grafted butcher. When grafted butcher ETBs, they gain menace until the end of the turn. Alright, well I'm just gonna wait then. I'm just gonna take it to the face. I don't care. I'll get so much more value out of other Bruxins you control, gain 1-1. One, one. Draw 2 cards, I don't care about that. Uh-huh. You gotta go, buddy. Can I pay this? Or is he letting it resolve? I guess I'll pay one for it to come back. Why not? This is more volume on the battlefield. Oh, I don't have a, um, shit. Oh no, I don't actually even have a sick because I don't actually even have the mana for that. Uh, flash. When an ETBs attach it to a target creature, this creature gains indestructible until the end of turn. Okay. Didn't I just resolve that? 
Can I pay? Oh. I didn't think I had mana. But I guess so. Um. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> okay. Let's go to combat. Um. He can kill that. Let's do that. That. Not that. Swing. Oh, it's my turn? Oh my god. I'm so oh my god, I'm so stupid. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Uh, I'm totally cool with that. That's actually kind of what I wanted him to... Uh, how do I kill this if it's indestructible? Oh, it only gets it once. Okay. Or can he... Can he pay for that? sack to return it. Oh, no. He must have cast that in and I just wasn't paying attention. This is getting kind of dicey. I only have 11 health. I'm going to sacrifice this to draw two. I should have exiled just for fun. I mean, whatever. Tax, mill a card. Okay. That would have been really nice. Fuck. I just want to see what exile does. takes it to the shadow realm. I can hit for four. So I'm just gonna block that. I mean, that's all I can do. Ouch. I don't know if I'm winning this. I don't think I am. This would have helped a lot. It is really sad. Oh, I'm fucked. Three, one, four, yeah. I think I can block. I think I can get one more turn, depending on what they just drew. But this is not looking good. When an ETBs draw a card for each other dinosaur control, which I don't think there's any. Hmm. Unless I get an absolute banger next turn. I think... My bad. I think my goose is cooked here. Because he's gonna wipe my whole board right now. I'm so tired of playing this card. That also would have been really nice right now. Uh, okay.
Oh, this can't block, and this is already tapped. I am fucked. Uh huh. Does not have indestructible. Oh, it has a menace. I have to. And I'm not even gonna kill it. That sucks. That really sucks. L. First game off to an L. I hate to say it, because I feel like I don't know if I love this deck, but I also don't know if it's just because I lost with the deck. So we'll see, but that's not great. Sorry, I hope you couldn't hear that. It might have been gross. Mm, I'll take this and hold on to it forever. This is a good early game. Whenever... Mm. You may have it become a... Okay. You may have it become... Whenever it attacks, exile a card from the graveyard, then investigate. Whenever you sacrifice a clue, you may have it become a copy of what you just exiled. Excuse me. Okay. Neither of these are strong enough to kill, so let's just have them exile a card or a Let's just... In the ETBs, target player draws a card and loses one life. I don't even think that's actually good. I think I want the card. Oh, hold on here. Let's do land. Draw a card, investigate. Uh -huh. The 
owner of target spell or non-land permanent puts it on the top or bottom of the library. I don't know. Uh, 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 um. You know what? Let's do that. Hopefully they kill it, and then I can play this. Come on, do it. Gnawing vermin. Come on, do it. Shit. Oh my god. Yes. Vermin, okay, till the end of turn. I mean, what does that really do? Why? Why? Play it. What? Okay. Why can't I play this? I don't understand. Can I not play that on my end phase? I don't get it. <laughs> oh my god. Fine. Yep. Okay. I don't know when I can play this card. Apparently I don't. I don't like this deck, I think. I don't want to take this. Can I? Okay. I don't understand at all why I couldn't play that before, and now all of a sudden I can, but sure. Sounds good. I just don't really feel like I understand how to play this deck. I think I'm gonna switch next. Like, I have all these cards, and I'm like, I don't understand how any of these go together. And I also don't understand the mechanic that just happened with this guy. So fun learning from the beginning, isn't it? So fun. Dreams of steel and oil. Every one reveals a card, you must choose from it, and then choose an artifact or creature from their graveyard and exile those chosen cards. I don't think I have any artifacts or creatures. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I 
hate this. <laughs> All right. We are changing decks. Isn't that crazy? That sucked. All that, that whole thing sucked. I miss my other deck. Can I resign? And come back in. Hungry, tough cookie, food golem. I'm not gonna lie, this looks fun. Just based on the art, but I don't know what it means. When tough cookie ETBs create a food token. Okay. Target non-creature artifact you control. Becomes a 4-4 four, four if you tap it for two forest. Sack, tough cookie to gain three life, just like a food. That's funny. Uh, flash flying whenever another fairy enters the battlefield under your control. Each opponent loses one life. I just played bittersweet. I ha I've done this already, so let's not do that. Hmm. There is a... There's a place you can go um, online where you can see so we are looking at sorry I just want to make sure I'm still okay we are looking at hungry Fairies and bittersweet. So. Hungry. Food tokens and bargain. What is bargain? Bargain is a key word. It allows you to sack an artifact, enchantment, or token. And the other one was fairies. Fairies. Nope. Apparently I'm dumb. How do I spell fairies? Oh. F A E R I E S. Fairy synergies and flying. Hmm. Honestly, I'm pretty interested in both these. When the ETBs, each opponent loses one life. Excuse me. I feel like I really like this food deck, so I'm going to go with Hungry. But that sounds really fun. If I could, I would next time. And to go with that, none of these look synergistic. What the hell? Oh, I just got rid of that website, didn't I? That was silly of me to do. Let's go back in there. Sorry. Oh, uh, Jump in, magic and gathering. So what are we looking for here? Secrets, slime, or undercover? Undercover, cloak and disguise. Cloak and disguise. This is the one where you can play it face down. I've never liked this. Cloak. When you cloak a card, put it onto the... E yeah, I never really liked that mechanic. What about... Uh, slime? Against humanity. Oh. Okay. Create a zero, 0 ooze with trample. Put X11 one, one on it, where X is 2 plus the total number of cards you own in exile. Ah. Uh, think I really want to do that either and the other one was sorcery which I don't think I want to do either sorcery spells isn't it am I crazy what is it called secrets 
self mill and descend artifacts. Oh. I don't want to do any of these. What was um, hungry again? Hungry. Food tokens and bargain. Where bargain is sacrificing artifacts. Secrets is artifacts. So I guess secrets. I, I can kind of already tell I'm not going to like this deck, I don't think. These... These arts are so cool, though. Wow. Wow. Okay. We'll try it. Who knows? It doesn't sound like something I would like, but... We'll see. We will see. That's a lot of land. That is a really cool card. Descend. Like, what is descend? What does that mean? Craft with island. Descend. It can't be blocked as long as there are eight or more permanent cards in your graveyard. Descend. I don't know what descend means, but none of these are low cost except for this. But you have to... Yeah. <laughs> One. When it ETBs, it explores. Okay, I think this is not really better either, but sure. I don't know what the fuck to do. This is really cool art. Uh, I don't think I can do anything. So. This art is... All this art is sick. That's my favorite part about playing a new deck. Uh, you get to see all the new art. It's so cool. Uh, 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 when you ETBs, you gain one life. Wow, we are already into like some pretty hefty cards, apparently. So what does Explore do? Explore. Reveal a top card. Put that card into your hand if it's a land. Otherwise, put a 1-1 one, one counter on this creature and then put that card back. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. Wow. We are going to get shit on very quickly. Holy shit. Okay. So I guess the point of this is to get stuff into your graveyard. So I'm going to put one of these in my hand and the rest into my graveyard. Oh, I only got one option. This happened so quickly, and I have literally nothing. Oh, nice, another land. That's just what I needed. Okay, yep, great. That's it, that's all I got. <laughs>
this is this is insane. Any creature would be great. Like, like anything I could play. That's cool art. It's a god. One more creature. Until end of turn. Tap. Target one up to the... Okay. When it ETBs, there are four more permanent cards. Return up to one target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. What costs the most mana here? This, right? Or this. And I will not be attacking. I'm just bad, or these decks are just not. I mean, none. Oh, shit. That sucks. Um. Really? That's great. Well, I'm blocking these for nothing. That's awesome. Wow. Wow. Like, I have fucking nothing. What am I supposed to do? I'm not even gonna bother. This is ridiculous. Is there any creatures in this deck? I like I genuinely don't can't tell. Cause I'm just drawing a bunch of gobbledygook that has nothing to do with playing the game. What the fuck? <laughs> Two, three, one, fine. Look at that, creature, creature, creature. Right off rip. Sacrifice a food, and it gains, wait, can I do this? And then it, I can still play it later or something? Yeah. I don't know why I remembered that, but I just remember when it has like this little this thingy, you can do that. So when the ETBs it explores. Creature for descend. Do I want that on the top or the bottom? Oh, graveyard or. Uh, I feel like that's okay. Oh, and I want to 
gets that till the end of turn. Uh, Alright, let's... When it ETBs, get a food token. Target a non-creature artifact you control. Oh, those are if I tap for them. It becomes a 4-4 four four until the end of turn. Sacrifice a tough cookie. Okay. And I'm going to attack with that. So I feel like I want to build these up because I'm going to bring in this guy next turn. And when I sacrifice food, it gets a 2-2. Two -two. So I feel like I want to build up food right now, but I could just be talking out of my butt. When it ETBs, create a food token. Tap it to add one whatever. Sacrifice it. Create creatures you control get until where X is the number of foods you control until the end of turn. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I think what I'm going to do is stack my foods for this and sacrifice them all. That's uh, fine. Just hit me, whatever. Creatures you control get XX at the end of the turn where X is the number of foods you control. I don't even have to sack them. Oh, that's actually really cool. Um, look at the top four cards, put them in the library, the rest go into your graveyard. Counter target a spell unless the controller. Ooh. draw a card. Has flying as long as there are four more permanent creatures in your graveyard. I don't have anything in my graveyard yet, and I don't think I will for a while, so I'm just gonna throw it. Why did this tap? Where's that coming from? I can add I can tap this for mana? that coming from? It has to be this, right? Ouch. That's not good. Or is it this? Foods you control have tap for one. Oh. I see. I was like, what the hell? This card is so cute. This card. It's sick. I feel like I want this deck, this food deck that's going on right now, with the food portion of the other deck I was playing, where it was black and green. This does not have flying. Oh yeah, once once you descend four, which I doubt we're gonna get to. Choose blocker. I'd be okay with that, right? Trade. 
I don't want to take the three. This is a legendary artifact. When it ETBs, mill two cards, then draw two. More permanent cards in your graveyard, transform into that. Well, I need the cards. Craft with island. Exile an island you control to change this into a vehicle. Okay, but... Can I do that anytime? Oh, I'm sorry. Exile. Okay, things are happening. I'm gonna keep it a keep it a hundo p. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing right now. Um. I don't want to attack, but I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it can't be blocked as long as there are eight or more permanent. Okay. Mill crew. What crew tap any number of other creatures you control with a total power of one or more. This vehicle becomes an artifact creature. So I have to tap to bring it into play. Man, it's really just, really just wants me to. So I can bring this in as a, okay, oh my god, I don't need to remove everything. I guess I do technically, but it's rather annoying. So now can I do this? But it only comes in as a 4-4, four, four, which doesn't really help me here. Um, can I not block? No. Oh. I mean, this thing's done. It's fine. Can't be blocked. Sacrifice this. Look at the two top cards of your library. Okay, yeah, I gotta do that. them in your hand and the rest into your graveyard. Enchant creature or vehicle. Enchant a creature or vehicle. When it enters the field, you may mill two cards. Chanted gets where X is the number of permanent cards in your graveyard. Enchanted permanent gets minus? what I'm doing right now, but things are happening. Sure. Let's put it on there. Two attackers. We're gonna attack with that. 
it now has flying, so it can't block. But then I have nothing, I'm wide open. So basically, I need something massive on my next turn, or I'm fucked. And then I need to duplicate it with this. I'm also getting pretty close to being out of cards. Music goes hard. I didn't get shit. Fuck. Hmm. How many do I have? Four? So if everything gets plus four, five, seven, six, and that's just until end of turn. But I could bring this out to He can survive, right? Because he can block that. Yeah. That was fun. This whole thing was fun. But yeah, unlucky. What the fuck was that? Holy shit. I gotta play a golem deck apparently. All right, one more. And then maybe I'm gonna switch this deck up. That was fun. The, um, what we just played. I get it. You need to get everything into your, like, exiled. Or into your graveyard or whatever for the descend mechanic. But, uh, I just don't know if I really, oh my god, where am I going? Uh, I don't know if I really love that. Curse of the... <laughs> And the ETBs of the top three cards, put the rest into your graveyard. Send. No, I don't like any of these. It's not a good first hand. Bum, 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 bum. 
thank God I'm titling this um, Help Me Learn because otherwise God damn this would Dude, none of this is good. Okay, it's not really good either, but sure. I can't believe I'm discarding land at the beginning. I feel like that should not be the case. What is this little iron thing? Uh, or not iron, pickaxe. What is that? Why is it not showing me? Or is that mill? Permanent cards in your graveyard. Oh, probably the permanent that are in my graveyard. We can put that many on there. Uh, yeah, what I was saying, good thing I'm titling this Learn With Me because this is going to be the fourth game that I lose in a row since it's been an hour and all I've done is lose four games. That card is really cool. Bargain. You may sacrifice an artifact as you cast the spell. If you bargain, it gets trampled. Oh, if it's bargained, it fights up to one target creature you don't control. I, I don't really feel like that's that good. If it, like, did the damage or something, like, well, that'd be different, but... graveyard that's what that oh the pickaxe is the graveyard the amount in the graveyard for some reason i look at this card and it looks like it's flying but it's not okay so We're just gonna set ourselves up now by getting things into the graveyard for these. Oh, I thought that was a spell. Oh my god, it's a person. Or it's a creature. <laughs> I thought it was an instant or something. <laughs> Come on, buddy. I always rush other people, but I take forever to, to, I take when, I take forever to make a decision. Okay, not the whole timer, Jesus. Put a card on the back, the rest will go to your graveyard. Um, reach, I like that but I'm pretty far away from five mana. And I also do need land right now. Dun, 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 dun. Um, sure. God, this is six. Ouch. The owner's hand. Oh, so I can take this back at that point. When it ETBs, two damage to any target. Okay. Nice. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Music's going hard right now. All right. Um, I feel like I actually need mana right now, so let's do that. And create a monster roll token attached to a target creature you control. When you do that, creature fights up to one target creature you don't control. Enchanted creature gets one plus one and has trample. If creature has more than one roll controlled by the same player attached to it all, but the most is put into the graveyard. Oh, so you could do that to get enchantments off. I feel like I don't really have anything. I don't really want to use this. Excuse me. Um, I, yeah, don't think I really care. I mean, I guess. Target up the one creature you don't control. When you do, that creature fights up to... Oh, you like force it to fight. Oh, that's not what I thought that was going to do. Okay. That's kind of cool. And now it has trample. Okay. Nice. Good use of mana. Kind of. I need one win today. What time is it? I need... I gotta go to bed soon. I need one win. Please. Please. just a stop. Okay. Yeah. okay. But now it's still tapped. I can get the food thing going. Where X is the number of permanent cards in your graveyard. When it ETBs... Oh, I can't do that yet. Create a food token. I mean, I feel like I just have to do this. have nothing to do. Although, one, two, I can now, next turn, play this, finally. Wait, no, I can't. I can if I sack the food, which I don't really want to do, but... I need to do something. Oh, I can just tap it. I don't have to sacrifice. I can just tap it. Oh, okay. You can sacrifice that to deal five? I kind of want to drop this on that. Where is it getting that from? It stays. Oi, oi, oi. Uh huh. Okay. I think, unfortunately, our priority is to get rid of this thing. Not get rid of it, but. Fuck. It still brings it to one. Um. I mean, I guess I could just bring it down to one, then it's not really a threat. It's a threat right now. I kinda have to, this sucks, but. trample, I forgot. Oh, that's fine then. So, I mean, now it's just in the way. 
Although I'm about to take out this. Close to dead. I mean, do I care about this? I feel like I don't. Is there not four or more permanent cards in my graveyard? Oh. Never mind. I'm dumb. I didn't understand what that meant. The belligerent. Whenever the belligerent attacks, it creates. Can equip that. Well, that's a good use, since I mean he can't attack with that. He can crew it, right? Which brings it into the battlefield. Tap any number of creatures you control with a total power of three or more. It becomes an artifact creature. Yeah, so we can tap this because it has power of three or more. I'm gonna have to block it, which is rather unfortunate. Does he not know that? Okay. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. Oh, but you have to pay two. He probably doesn't have to. Five? One, two, three, four. He does. Why? I don't know what just happened. But yeah. <laughs> okay. We're put X one one. X is one plus a number of foods. Oh, I have two, so it's three. This could become a six, seven, or a seven, seven. I like that this has to be, this is gonna hit anyway. This spell costs two less if it's bargained. When the ETBs, you gain three life. That's actually great too. I will bargain it. And it has trample. And that has trample, so we're gonna... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Because if this... Well, I can block that. Oh, I destroyed it. Never mind. So now he can't play that. I mean, we're at we're at our ends here. He's got one card. I've got no cards. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Yes! Oh my God! Finally! I think I get it. You just need to keep sacrificing cards. I thought I got a card for that. No. Oh, I got a pack. A little Gamba. That's 
That's an interesting card. Okay. Um. Oh, I got new things. Three quick draft matches. Quick draft. Oh, there's a new one. Oh, there's a new one. Gotta try it. Excuse me. Let's see what it is. I really gotta go, but... Quick draft token. Select one card at a time from rotating draft picks. The cards will be added to your collection and you'll use them plus basic lands. Bot draft. Draft against AI with no waiting and no pick timers. I don't know what this means, but let's just do it. So I pick one. When it ETBs, return a card creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. Whenever a legendary creature you control dies, it joins, deals damage equal to that creature's power. I mean... Oh, wait, hold on. Flying lifelink. Whenever it attacks while saddled... While saddled... Tap any number of other creatures you control with a total power three or more becomes saddled. Whenever it attacks saddled, it gets XX, where X is the number of mounts you control. I don't know what's good, but I feel like I should take this. Uh... I mean, I feel like I should just be taking the legendaries, right? <laughs> whenever one or more tar- whenever more- <laughs> Whenever one or more tokens enter the battlefield under your control, create a 1-1 one, one vampire rogue with lifelink. Uh, I feel like I want to take this. Oh, hold on. Dude, I got to do this the whole time. This is going to take a while. Um, I guess if you want to keep watching this, I'm going to do this and then go to bed. So if you want to click off here, um, if you want to watch this, I don't know. I was not really expecting to have to do this all right now. So... Sure. So what is this? What is this? Oh, gotcha. Um, so we're going lifelink. When it ETBs, mills two cards. I feel like I like that the best. That's really interesting. Deals three damage to each target. Oh, but you have to pay two. I, I really have no idea what I'm doing here. Um, sacrifice a creature, draw two cards. feel like this is good because I still want to get things into the graveyard. I'm essentially playing around this, right? 
one of ETBs you can bring back from the graveyard, and then... Yeah, I mean, I feel like... I don't know. Fuck, I'm gonna be here forever. I gotta speed this up. Sorcery. Return one dark creature from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah. It's the same thing again. I like reach. Deals one damage to target. So you can tap it to deal one damage to target opponent. Scarecrow. You gain two life. And you can tap it to add one mana of any color. Man, I feel like I'm really just going for the black cards right now. I feel like I need to get some other stuff. Why would I want this? But okay, I guess so. I guess j just to use as a colorless. Yeah, why not? Um, I don't want the saddle thing. I don't want the saddle stuff. I'm not interested. That sounds Pretty cool. Target creature gets negative 2-2. Two, two. For each desert you control. At knife point. As long as it's your turn, it allows you control have first strike. Whenever you commit a crime, create a 1-1 one, one mercenary token. Oh, tokens aren't permanents though, right? if I really care for that either. I feel like the best one... Whenever you commit a crime... As long as it's your turn, outlaws you control have first strike. Combat damage before creatures without first strike. feel like that could work somehow. X damage to target creature where X is 2 plus the number of other spells you can. At the beginning of combat in your turn, choose one. Target creature you control gains until end of turn, gains menace and haste until end of turn. Whenever you commit a crime, target creature you control gains your choice of menace or like link until end of turn. Uh, trick shot. Six damage to target creature and two damage to one other target. I feel like that could be useful. Flash. When the ETBs. Yeah, I like that. Don't like that noise, though. As an additional cost to cast the spell, sack and draw two cards. 
Return the favor. Instant. Copy target instant spell. Sorcery spell. Activated ability. You may choose new targets for the copy. Copy target instant spell. Blah, blah, blah. You may choose new targets for the copy. Uh, create a treasure token. Equip a creature gets 1-1. One, one, and it costs 1 to equip. That's a long-winded way of just equip equipping Golden Pan. Hmm. I don't really like any of these. Uh, so we're gonna go with copy. Choose one or more additional costs. Copy. Target instant spell, sorcery spell, activate ability or trigger ability. You may choose new targets for the copy. Excuse me. I think. Sure. Quick draw. Target creature you control gets 1 1 and gains first strike. Loses first strike and double strike. Uh, thunder lasso. Attach to a creature you control. Quick creature gets 1 1. Never quick creature attacks. Tap target creature defending player controls. Mm. Fling, isn't it? Fling deals damage equal to sacrifice creature's power to any target. Hmm. Okay. I don't really love Target creature you control gets negative one one. Oh, opponent controls. I don't know how I ended up in this rabbit hole. But I don't even think I'm gonna use this deck. I think at this point, I'm just gonna make something to get the cards. <laughs> because I don't, I'm not really interested in any of this. I mean, I could run it, but. Holy shit, we're gonna be here. Like, what? I don't want any of this. No. Actually, that's pretty good. Take the fall. Yeah. Whenever you choose, you cast your second spell. No. I'm never going to get... Oh, it's just one. This is the weirdest. I just don't like this deck at all. Sacrifice a creature. Fine. You're joking. Uh, yeah, I always like the murder card. Um... That's kind of fun. Scorpion Dragon Rogue. I don't even care if that's good or not. I feel like I just got to take that. Sacrifice three other creatures. 
You may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. Activate only a sorcery, only once per turn. That's really cool. Like the art. Luxurious locomotive. Um... Oh, each turn. Ooh. Ooh. Yep. I like that. I like that. I'm going to just take that again. Draw a card and create a creature. And create a treasure token. So you play that as a one-two. It has first strike and haste. Yep. Almost there. Quick draw. I only need one. Enter the battlefield as a copy of a creature you control. You can plot that. You can plot that too. Cool art. Is that a sh is it, it's holding a shovel? <laughs> uh I guess. Add a colorless. Tap it to add one man of any color. Okay. Last card. control of two target enchantments artifacts or oh sure I don't know okay apparently we're just we're still going wait I'm not playing a game right now I gotta go okay done so now I just play with this? Can I change it? No. Uh, okay. I think that's gonna be a different day. I think I'm gonna wrap it here because I gotta get ready to go to bed. Um, if you enjoyed that last part of making this deck, cool. Uh, <laughs> um, wasn't really expecting to do that right away. But I really like the jump in. Invalid. Why is this invalid? What is invalid? Oh. Okay, well, I'm not going to play ranked right now anyway. I'll deal with that another day. But, um... This, by far, is my favorite deck right here. Um, the current jump in one is okay. I'm getting, I'm warming up to this one. Oh, I got a card. What did we get? Gamba? Caught red handed. Uh, this one's okay. My favorite is still by far the um, this can I like favorite this bitch or something I can't import oh you can oh that's cool 
Oh, that's fun. Oh, you can. Favorite. I would say also favorite. Also favorite. And let's just because I'm I want to be organized. We are so far off of what we're supposed to be doing. Uh, add to decks. This is where you can find your current rank in Didn't Spark ask. Rank. As you play, you'll level up through the four tiers. I wonder what happens when you complete tier one. <gasps> I don't know. Um, but yeah, definitely these are my favorites. I gotta make a white deck out of something next time. I would say this is favorite, favorite. But uh, this is growing on me. I have no idea about um, this one. We'll try this out, I guess. And we'll see how it goes. But yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you had this in the background or if you were actually actively watching, give me some comments below or something on if you see like stupid mistakes I'm making and how I could correct them or whichever because this is really fun and I'm really interested in learning one day I'll probably end up like buying cards and making a deck but for now this is working for me and it's very fun so anyways I want to know what I'm doing wrong if you had any like insight or advice um, definitely let me know and would love any also any advice on how to build the deck um like you just saw that was pretty brutal so i would i kind of get the idea of like you start with something that you want to play around and then build the deck around it but uh any more insight would be greatly appreciated but anyways enough rambling uh i'm out of here i gotta go to bed got class tomorrow thank you so much for watching and uh hopefully see you next time for episode three take care